Hey everyone, welcome to Aptitude Destination. Today we will be seeing about permutation and combination. I am going to take this as a foundation course. I am going to be uh, following Arun Sharma's book for CAT, A Quantitative Aptitude, and I uh, feel like it aligns with a lot of competitive exams. Uh, if you practice the uh, practice questions of uh, level of difficulty 1 and 2, I feel like it's enough for UPSC CSAT 2024, hopefully. and. Um, if you practice uh, till uh, difficulty level 3, I feel like you are ready for all kind of competitive exams in the area of permutation and combination. So I am planning on making this as a playlist so you can access it for any competitive exam. And yes, let's get into the video without any delay. So first of all, let's start with what permutation and combination means. So uh, this is a concept that is used when you are dealing with selection or number of ways in which you can select certain items from a bigger pool of items. So that is when you use combination and perm permutation. And what is the difference between combination and permutation? So basically all you need to remember is combination deals with only selection while permutation deals with both selection and order of selection so in combination the order in which you are going to pick up those ob objects does not count at all so here your order does not matter but here your order matters and that is the only difference between permutation and combination and we have been given formulae so basically all you need to do is identify the question whether it falls under combination or whether it falls under permutation and then all you have to do is apply it in the formula, use your logic and arrive at the answer. So to give you a better explanation of the difference between combination and permutation, I'm gonna take an example. Since we just had our World Cup, let's take the example of of our cricketers. So let me take, um, let's say I'm taking Virat Kohli, Rohit Sharma and KL Rahul. So let's say I'm taking KL Rahul, Virat Kohli and Rohit Sharma and my uh, objective is to choose two people for opening batsmen. Okay. So basically I want uh, two out of three. Okay. So what are the uh, number of possible ways that I can select two people out of these three people? It will be basically Virat Kohli and Rohit Sharma or Virat Kohli and KL Rahul or Rohit Sharma and KL Rahul. So these are the only ways in which I can select two people out of three people, right? So my number of selections is three here. But let me take one more um, case where I want to select two people and those two people are for the positions of captain and vice captain. So I am going to select uh, let's say Virat Kohli and Rohit Sharma. Now I can say Virat Kohli can be the captain and Rohit Sharma can be the vice captain but then I can also say Rohit Sharma can be the captain and Virat Kohli can be the vice captain and that will apply to all these combinations as well right so if I'm choosing Virat Kohli and KL Rahul Virat Kohli can be the captain and KL Rahul can be the vice captain but KL Rahul can also be the captain and Virat Kohli can be the vice captain so this is also one possibility this is also one possibility this this and for the last one I will also have two possibilities where Rohit Sharma is the captain and KL Rahul is the vice captain or KL is the captain and Rohit Sharma is the vice captain so now in total I have one two three four five six possibilities why six possibilities because the order of my selection played a role here right so whenever the order of your selection is going to play a role that is when you go to permutation but whenever your order of selection is not going to play any role that is when you use combination so basically this is the difference 
and all you need to remember right now is the formula to use whenever you find the logic before jumping into the formula there is something that you need to know which you would have already come across that is the concept of factorial so factorial is nothing but uh, it is represented by exclamation mark and let's see um, what is the meaning of factorial so basically it follows a number so I can say 5 factorial which will be represented as 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 and if I say 3 factorial that means it's 3 into 2 into 1 that is 6 and 5 4s are 20 23 so that's 60 62 so 120 so basically the value of 5 factorial is 120 and the value of 3 factorial is 6 so anywhere you see this factorial you just have to keep reducing the number until it reaches 1 okay so i can say 10 so it will be 10 into 9 into 8 into 7 into 6 into 5 into 4 into 3 into 1 so that is how factorial works now why i want you to know the concept of factorial is simple because the formulas of permutation and combination contains factorial so what is the permutation formula permutation formula is n p r combination formula is n c r so what does n mean here n is the total number of objects that is present near you so in front of you total number of objects so in the example that we saw what is the total number of objects it was three because there were three people available and you wanted to select two out of them right so now you wanted to select two out of them which means r represents the required number of selections so r will be two which is required number of selection I hope this is clear because n is the total number of objects and r is the required number of objects and if you are not clear in this you won't be able to apply logic to your formula so make sure you are very clear about this now let's see what is the difference in both of these formula there is only a slight difference in both of these formulas so uh, so you just have to remember the slightest difference between these two formulas so npr is nothing but n factorial divided by n minus r the whole factorial so you know that n represents the total number of objects and r represents the required number of objects so you just have to substitute the numbers here and you will get the all possible form uh, permutations and for ncr there is only one term that has to be added in front of npr that is n factorial divided by r factorial into n minus r the whole factorial so the only difference here is so the only difference here is this term i don't think you will have a problem remembering these two formulae so just remember these two formulae and we are good to go to solve questions.